Introduction to 100 Hello children, in the last video you learned numbers from 91 to 99 and also read those numbers as 1s and 10s. So come on let's see what you will learn in this video about 100 and how many 1s and 10s are there in a 100. Today is Chotu and Pinky's mother's birthday. Chotu and Pinky put one coin each in their piggy bank every day. So they thought of taking money from the piggy bank and buy a gift for their mother. Chotu, let's check in our piggy bank how many rupees are there and then we will bring something for mummy from the market. Okay, Pinky, let's see. Chotu, let's count all these coins by making groups of 10 each. So these are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. And along with that, there are 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 and 99. This means we have 99 rupees in total. So children, did you see how Chotu and Pinky counted the money of their piggy bank? Can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in 99? Yes children, we write 99 like this. Here 9 is in the tens place and this 9 is in the nines place. That means we have 9 tens which can be also called as 9 bundles of tens and 9 ones. After some time, Chotu and Pinky noticed that there is another rupee in their piggy bank. So this means now they have 1 rupee more than 99 rupees. So children, do you know what is 1 more than 99? And how shall we count it? Yes, 100 is more than 99. Come on, let us see how. There are 9 ones and 9 tens. And if there is one more 1 in it, then it will become 10 coins, which means 10 ones. And together, 10 ones will make 110, which means one more group of 10. That means earlier we had 9 tens and now 110 more. And now we have 10 tens, which we call as a 100. So 100 comes after 99, which we write like this. So children, that was all for today. In this video, you learned about 100 and learned to read 100 as 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100. Till then, bye children.